In an interview with Sports Illustrated, PSG superstar Kylian Mbappé has again spoken about his decision to remain at the club in the summer when it looked like he would be joining Real Madrid. Everything seemed set with regard to Mbappé's move to the Santiago Bernabeu as a free agent until he made a last-minute swerve and decided to sign a new bumper contract with PSG, committing his future to the French club for three more years. Mbappé has previously spoken about how conversations with France President Emmanuel Macron influenced his decision to remain at Parc des Princes. And, he has once again iterated that the phone calls with Macron played a key role in his staying at PSG. It was some calls from Macron. It was like December, January, February, March. Macron called me and said. I know you want to leave. I want to tell you that you are also important in France. I don't want you to leave. You have the opportunity to write history here. Everyone loves you, Mbappé said. The French international added, I told him I appreciated it because it's really crazy. The president calls you and wants you to stay. Further elaborating on his decision, Mbappé added. Of course, it was easier to go to Real Madrid. But I have this ambition. I'm French. I'm a child of Paris, and to win in Paris, it's something really special. It writes your name in the history of your country for life. Mbappé also opened up on how his life had changed after winning the 2018 FIFA World Cup while also admitting that the criticism he faced after France's UEFA Euro 2020 elimination also made him consider leaving the country. That changed my life. I was already famous before, but after the World Cup, it was crazy. It took me a while to learn to keep calm, Mbappé said. I thought, I can't play for people who think I am a monkey. I am not going to play anymore. Then I reflected with the people around me and they encouraged me to continue. Giving up was not a good message because I am an example for people, he explained. Despite his decision to stay at PSG, recent reports have been indicating that all is not well between the two parties and Mbappé is already looking for a way out. Speaking in an interview with Rio Ferdinand for BT Sport, Manchester City manager Pep Guardiola has made a major claim about Real Madrid's success in the UEFA Champions League. The Manchester City boss has been in charge at the Etihad Stadium since 2016 but has failed to win the Continental Trophy in each of his six seasons at the club. During that time, Real Madrid have won the Champions League on three occasions, in 2016-2017 and 2017-2018 under Zinedine Zidane and in the last season with Carlo Ancelotti at the helm. Manchester City were on the receiving end of one of the most memorable comebacks made by Real Madrid in the history of the competition last season in the semi-finals. Having won the first leg at the Etihad 4-3, the Premier League champions looked to be cruising to the finals when Riyad Mahrez put them ahead in the second leg at the Santiago Bernabeu. But a stoppage time double from Rodrigo Goes forced the tie into extra time and Karim Benzema scored to win it for Real Madrid, who then went on to beat Liverpool in the finals to win the trophy. During the interview, Guardiola was asked about Manchester City's failure to win the Champions League, to which he responded. What if we don't win the Champions League? then we don't. Only Real Madrid play to win it, the rest of us, we just try. This is not the first time Guardiola has made such a claim about Real Madrid's unprecedented success in the Champions League. In another interview earlier this year, the former Barcelona manager had joked that Real Madrid were the reason for Man City's failure to win the competition, saying, because Real Madrid is always there.